Palpatine protection. Mm. Bless upon yourself, people. Me just log on to make the eye them know, say. Everything under control, you see it. Because I know, say, some people genuinely care for Mr. Vegas, you understand? It was a rough day, but you don't know. Just saw the universe operate, you see it. Because the truth no need no defense, you know. The truth defends itself. It just shows you that the meditation where we are all are the right meditation. Because if, if it were not the right meditation we are all, then today would have been a different situation. It just showed us that our people are indoctrinated. It just showed us that the Willowlin syndrome is deeply embedded in our system. You know, it's, it's in our genes. A sister said to me the other day that the Willowlin syndrome you know, is in our genes. And I watched that played out today, people. First thing I realized that many of the people that are sitting in the congregation, they don't even understand the Bible themselves. Because I mentioned something about the Lion of Judah. And when I asked the crowd, they did not know. Their pastor had to confirm it. Now, I want you all to know, say, I couldn't have handled this situation any differently. Yeah? From day one, the situation was not properly you know, was not was not done in a respectable manner. But me is a me is a fighter. You understand? Me is a youth. Eh? Me just know that something's wrong. Like a man I call a woman whore and prostitute and a slut shame woman for things like makeup and lipstick and hair and nail polish and jewelry. You know. So be a on me is a man who love all my mother. Me just a few times, you know, me listen to my brother Terry. You know? Now the man come like the mash up on me next star. And my brother Terry I say, yo, don't Don't go. But me just couldn't sleep, people. Is that like me couldn't sleep, you know? Is that like me couldn't sleep? So me and, me and the, the brother we put on the event, we talk, seeing? And, and we agreed on certain things. He said he spoke to the pastor. I said, you know what? Remember I came here and I said I wanted half an hour. So we agreed on 20 minutes. And I agreed that I will speak, the pastor will speak. And when the pastor finished speaking, have it recorded, you know. When the pastor finished doing his part of the speech, then we can go back and forth on biblical things. But I know in a debate, everybody get their time. Right? So I realized something was wrong from, his, from, from, from I was going to sit. And he told me to stand beside him. At first I said, no, I'm good, I'll sit. But my mistake was to stand up beside him because I already meditated that from early, you know. That is how we conduct is debates like a little bully tactics. But I stood up because I couldn't hear what the, 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 the other guy was reading, his reader. So that's the reason why I stood up because I could not hear what the guy was reading and I wanted to hear so I could answer. However, I did my opening and it was his turn. So two minutes or three minutes into his message or his turn, he started asking me questions. I said, I will answer your questions when you are finished. I started making notes of his questions. Anybody that watch debates or any conversation that you're having, 
in regards to these things, you know that you let a person speak and then you answer, you know. So I started writing down the questions that he was asking. But he wanted an answer then. And instantly I realized that he was trying to set a trap. So I kept on saying, I will answer when my turn. I will answer when my turn. Right? It's recorded. No. When he asked about... When he said... The Bible came before every woman on earth. That was I said to him. That's not true. He said the Bible comes before any woman on earth. I said that's, that, that is not true. But can you believe that our people stood up and cheered for that? The congregation cheered for that. That the Bible came before a woman. Then he started switching it and calling it the words. And the words is God. And God comes before everything. But he did not say that at first. He said the Bible. So I was trying to calm him down. So I could answer him. Answer him. About paper. Because no matter how you want to dice it and slice it. Paper did not come before a woman. The Bible is some paper. His man put some ink on a paper. And the paper come from trees. So people actually believe that this book came before a woman. That is sad people. So I could not even get to answer or show any scripture that listen to me. If the, if, if the words. If in the beginning was the word and the word is God and God is the word and so forth and so on. That means before we had paper. The words were in our heart. Or in our brain. Or in our. It could not be in the Bible. Because the Bible was just created. In modern times. So I could. As soon as I started talking. You saw what happened. Now some people are saying I should have been prepared. I don't know what else I could have done. Because. I was not going to talk over him. Secondly. Mm -hmm. They turned my microphone down. They turned my microphone down. So I said, can I speak? I got something very important to say. I, I tried to speak for about half an hour. Maybe, maybe. It felt like half an hour. When I finally got to speak, I addressed a man that was at the front of the stage. And the man was saying, Kue! Kue! Come on for the stage! Come on! Kue! So I was like, Sir, you're supposed to be a Christian. That is not how you behave. So I was like, Pastor, speak to the people. The man cheered on the people more to behave in the way they were behaving. Trust me. So I couldn't get a chance to put in a word because one, my microphone was turned down. Two, he was interrupting. When I tried to get in anything, it was like five seconds and then he started again. So he started revving up the crowd, his sheep, to chant. So I remained calm. Until the chanting stopped and I tried to speak again. But they were not there to hear Mr. Vegas. These people were there to see the demise of Mr. Vegas. 
That's the problem. They were not there to hear Mr. Vegas or to listen to a conversation. They are programmed because I did not know it was there was a first church in Jamaica. That's his church. That's his people. I thought it was like a convention where people from all over attend. Some people are saying, why did I go? I'm too enough. Remember, these people invited me. First, unknowingly, and then after I spoke about it, they sent me an invitation. So I was invited. I don't know why my same Negroes, brothers and sisters, Negro brothers and sisters, are saying, why I'm too enough. Why did I go there? But I understand that still because some of us we just stand aside and look. And so Bob Marley said, How long shall he kill our prophet while we just stand aside and look? Bob Marley, that man is great, yeah, man. That man said it. How long shall he kill our prophet and we just stand aside and look? So I kept on saying, He kept on lying. He kept on lying about the tape. That he did not say the women are whores. So I kept on saying play the tape. They had the tape lined up. I said play the, play the audio. Because he knew he was lying. He didn't want the audio to be played. So when he started calling me a hypocrite. And I started requesting the audio. They shut my microphone off. Right? Now. He started telling the securities to sit me down. He did not say, I am to sit down, you know. He said, sit him down. So I stood firm. He said, sit him down. So I stood firm and I fold my arms. So then one guy came over. And he had his hand on me and I was like, why are you touching me? Are you a police? Show me your ID. He flashed something and put back in his pocket. I did not see it. So I said, let me see your ID. You're touching me. So he refused to show me his ID. Then the pastor started chanting to escort me out. Usher me out. Usher him out. Usher him out. Usher him out. So there are about 20 guys circled me and started tugging. Some were trying to take the microphone. Some were trying to drag me by the hand. So they basically listened to their command, which I now know that the whole thing was a setup. Because they were on point. As soon as he said, Usher him out. Usher him out. They all came running. Pop. And when I was going through the door, he said, when I watched back the, the video, he said, no one is going to come and take over first church. So he, he thinks that I'm a threat to his church. By addressing what he said about women, he thinks that I'm a threat to his church. Look at the video. He kept saying, no one is going to come take over church, first church. Now what is sad is when I saw some guys, my Jamaican brothers, dipping for their waist. I was not harmed. I was not harmed, so I was like, why are you dipping for your waist? And I started cussing. Because I was like, so you're going to shoot me for a man that is not even from Jamaica. I'm your brother and you're going to shoot me. You're dipping in your waist to shoot me.
The man say, No one is going to come take over this church. Usher him out. Usher him out. Usher him out. <laughs> so they basically pulled out my shoulder. I think it went, I think my shoulder went back in. I think it just slipped out. I'm going to do another MRI tomorrow. They had me by the neck. You know, somebody had me in a throat, throat lock. But I don't think... Maybe, maybe I'm just... Maybe, maybe based on how I am just... Trying to tread on a high frequency. I don't see them brothers as my enemies, you know? I got to... I, got, I later on found out that... Some of the guys that dragged me out, they were police officers. They were police, actually police. And some were just church securities. Impersonating police. Then I realized that the police officers who had their hands on me, they were not supposed to be there as securities. And I realized that they were going to get in some problems, you know. And the superintendent and everyone came and... I just filed a report and I didn't press any charges on the police, man, you know. I didn't press any charges on the police, then because... One day... Maybe them generation to come, them kids... Them grandkids will look back and see this video and look at their daddy trying to kill Mr. Vegas for standing up for a woman, you know. It's just sad that I always felt like I'm not accepted in Jamaica, you know? But today really today really, you know? Today really prove it, you see what I say? Because when these guys had their hands around my neck, you know? And I heard them People inside the church cheering, cheering them on, you know. That really, really touch a nerve, you see what I say? Because me is a youth to work hard. And me come back at Jamaica and me invest my money at Jamaica, you see it? And me genuinely check for the people them. Like, me just real offended that somebody even call the sisters them. It's not like you're saying... Women will sell them body or prostitutes, you know? It's like... I don't see how women are being treated, you know? You know, women, they have no voice. You know, the other day, a man just get up and just chop up. In kids, them and chop up. In baby mother. Some situations, women are living in abusive relationship. Where they can't even speak, you know? And out of the whole thing, the saddest thing, the saddest thing about the whole thing today is to see an 11 year old stood up and said, Women that wear makeup and lipstick are whores. And the church clapped him. Now, I understand that we can't please everyone. And we understand that it is not a myth that our own sold us out while we are in slavery. It has nothing to do with God. God did not tell anyone today to behave that way. Our own people sold us out. 
That's why we are still in slavery and that's what caused a lot of our ancestors their lives. And the gruesome way how they lost their lives. Many of you were against me. I'm not mad at you. Because I realize that you're programmed. And if I were to get mad at you or upset at you, then I'll be just like you. So I don't have any grudges towards you. I love you more. Because having grudges are hatred for you because of your lack of knowledge and your ignorance is unfair. So I'm not mad at you if you're against me. And if you think that I was the devil in that house today, then you need to get your head checked fast. Because one thing I know, one thing I know, if I were the devil today, the devil is a good person. So maybe you want to think about that. If I were the devil today, the devil is the one that we are supposed to be praising. If I were the devil today that stood my ground and had someone hounding me, spitting up in the back of my neck, who is supposed to be a leader, then maybe we should all start looking towards the devil. So the devil was the bigger person today. So maybe you want to think about that. The devil was the bigger person today. So, we're not sad for the people them. We're not sorry for ourselves. We're not sad for ourselves. We're not sorry for the people them. It, it was, it's, it's heart breaking. To see how lost the people are. It's really, really sad. To see how lost they are. But you know what? We came here, we saw this earth. And we are going to leave it. You know who going to inherit it? The generation to come. The generation to come will inherit it. Pastor Gina Jennings. He has his motives why he behaves the way he behaves. I am not treading on his frequency. You are trading on his frequency. That's why you can support someone who is calling you a whore. So today he did not want to. He did not want to play the video. So I logged on. I log. I log. I logged on. And said, you know what? Since he was saying he were not calling women whores, he was talking about the dressing. Right. Here you go. You so called Christian looking whores. That's it. Shopping in some church, flapping your ankle chains around, okay. all on the choir, breasts hanging out, lips all red, nails painted red, purple, blue, green, long like bird claws, all this fake hair, breast implants, toenails painted with little fake diamonds in it. Your hey. toes ain't richer. You're nothing but a prostitute. Could not play that today. Because the church would have seen that he's a liar. <laughs> That's why they didn't want to play it. Because he's a liar. 
And many of those church women, they did not hear this. That's right. You so-called Christian-looking whores. That's it. Shopping in some church, flapping your ankle chains around, all on the choir, breasts hanging out, lips all red, nails painted red, purple, blue, green, long like bird claws, all this fake hair, breasts in black, toenails painted with little fake diamonds in it. Your toes ain't richer. You're nothing but a prostitute. Go to, go to church now. Go to church. Right. Got nothing but a singing hoe, a shouting That's hoe, right. a organ playing hoe, yeah. a choir director hoe. Yeah. Hey, 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 preacher, preacher, preacher. If what I just said describe your wife, you're married to a hoe. Yeah. <laughs> they could not play that today. So some. I guess some of his disciples are in here trying to defend him. Said so he asked for scriptural debating or a scriptural debate. First and foremost, I asked them to play the tape because that was that we, that was what we were there for to debate what he said. I asked them to play the tape so I could use scripture to dissect and disseminate what he said. So if you think that I did not have scripture, well, that's on you. Well, I was not in for anyone covering over me, telling me when to speak, when not to speak, because we agreed on a format. All right? So if you want to believe that I did not have scriptures to back up Whatever, it's on you. Many of you, you will watch the tape. And because you are so brainwashed, you will not even see anything wrong with the tape, with the video. You will not see it. I'm not trying to please you. I'm not trying to please you. You are, you are programmed. You are programmed. Trust me. So, if you are a Christian... And you wear makeup or lipstick and... Or you don't. And you think women that do are whores. And prostitutes. And women with breast implants are prostitutes. Then it's on you. But I had scriptures. I just wanted to make my point. So... I have nothing to prove to you. What do I have to prove to you? The truth needs no defense. Here's the truth. This is the truth. This is what you need to speak about. Not if I have scriptures. And furthermore, I don't need your scriptures to think critical. Because you think your scriptures were here before mankind. But it's mankind who wrote your scriptures. So what are you talking about? You think your scriptures were here before mankind. But it's mankind who gave you this doctrine? And you call yourself smart and I am dunce. Can you believe that? You say you are smart and I am dunce. So how am I going to argue with you? What do, we have, what do I have to gain to be mad at you? And, I, and listen to this. Someone just made a comment. That the devil used me to go to the church today. Guess what? The Christians or the church people invited me. So if you're going to say the devil used me to go to the church. Oh my God. You didn't have to say it so plain. I knew they were the devil. But you did not have to agree with me. You said the devil used me to go there today. They were the one who invited me. So are you calling them the devil? Wow, you didn't, have to, you didn't have to, I know you don't really check for Mr. Vegas, but you didn't have to spell it out, so they invited me. So are you saying the devils invited me? My God, 
Talk again, Pasta. You so called Christian looking whores. That's it. Chomping in some church, flapping your ankle chains around. Okay. All on the choir, breasts hanging out, lips all red, nails painted red, purple, blue, green, long like bird claws. All this fake hair, breast implants, toenails painted with little fake diamonds in it. Your hey. toes ain't richer. You're nothing but a prostitute. Claws, all this fake hair, breast implants, toenails painted with little fake diamonds in it. Your hey. toes ain't richer. You're nothing but a prostitute. If what I just said describe your wife, you're married to a hoe. Yes. Am I right, sir? Yes. Talk to me. Yes. That is what women are agreeing with. Maybe, you know what? I should have let the woman them defend themselves, but I love her too much, yeah, man. You don't even, re even realize how much I love her. Now. One voice I don't, voice I don't represent, you know. You don't know a damn thing, man, man. Pelpa time, you know. Fourth generation, you know. You laugh in her talk. You see a damn thing. I guess so. Hot tool. Hot, 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 hot. Help a time! Room, 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 room! Go! Pronouns! <laughs> crazy, I'm crazy, I'm crazy! You niggas know that I'm crazy! Fat 45, not she 80! Full of gunshit, them two 80! The 32 too long, the clip that too weighted! The 17 better precise and me hear me! 